Hello everyone, this is Tim, and today is going to be another Dungeons and Dragons Cleric Domain. This one is going to deal with the gods of craft, or crafts. So smiths and people that make things, artifacts, those sort of things. So, you know, maybe a, a god of the forge. That sort of idea is what I was playing with here. And this is going to have a little bit of overlap with the Domain of Earth. At first level, you're going to get Identify and Unseen Servant. At third level, Heat Metal and Locate Object. At fifth level, Non Detection and Protection from Elements. At seventh level, Liaman's Secret Chest and Stone Shape. At ninth level, Animate Objects and Creation. All right, for the special abilities, you're going to get at first level Blessings of the Maker. You get the Mending Cantrip and Proficiency with all of the Artisan's tools. At first level, you're also going to get a proficiency with martial weapons and heavy armor. At second level, your channel divinity ability is going to be called Weapon Hurling. You can, uh, what's it, Mauls, Warhammers can be used as a ranged weapon. Their range is 20 slash 60. Light Hammers can also be thrown for twice of the distance listed in the player's handbook. So basically the idea is hammers and anything they can be used to, you know, make things or or you know just carve into stuff. I guess a maul is more of like a like a pickaxe, but uh, I kind of thought it would kind of fit with the other weapons for the most for the most part. Also, to sort of add on to that ability, the duration for that is probably going to be about a minute. All right, at sixth level, you're going to get summon weapon or tools. You can summon summon a light hammer or maul or war hammer, or also a set of artisan's tools from the plane of your deity. You can do this a number of times per day equal to your wisdom modifier, or at least once per day. This is a finely crafted masterwork item that will last until you stop using it, and then it will fade and return to its plane of origin. So I kind of like the idea of being able to summon a hammer or tools whenever you needed them pretty much, um, you know, unless you have already done it a bunch that day. At 8th level, you're going to get the ability Soul Forged Item. You can put a bit of yourself into an item that you craft to give it certain powers that you and only you can benefit from. Normally this is done by mixing a bit of your blood in the process of making the item, thereby making it forever yours. The normal rules apply for crafting an item during downtime. Permanently reduce a stat by one point to give a set of artisan's tools advantage on all rules with them. If you permanently reduce a stat by two points, you can craft armor or a weapon that have a plus one bonus, and anyone else that touches that item will be the target of a bestow curse spell, as if you cast it. At 14th level, uh, crafted artisan's tools no longer require a stat sacrifice to gain advantage with them. For armor and weapons, you give them a plus two bonus for only one sacrificed point of a stat. So basically you're harming yourself, you're putting a bit of your soul in the item, and it's getting some sort of benefit because of that. Also, uh, you could say that you know because your soul is involved, perhaps that undead uh, you know take extra damage from it, or maybe you have advantage against undead. Just as a possible uh, variant to that. At 17th level, you're going to get Obey Thy Master. You are immune to cursed aspects of an item, and you can gain whatever normal or magical beneficial ability that they possess without any risk of harm or injury. The item still possesses its curse but it will never affect you. Any intelligent items also pose no threat to use them as you bend them to your indomitable will. So basically, uh, I kind of thought that cursed items are a thing that you're not going to have to worry about, that you know, because you worship the god of crafts, uh, you sort of get this benefit that you, know, you don't have to worry about that stuff. So of all characters, you're probably more likely to reach out and grab something, grab an item, grab a weapon, because you're not really going to be afraid of any hugely dire consequences for doing so. The uh, Your god will protect you from those. So that's the god, and well, <laughs> that's the domain about the god of crafts, and I'll talk to you guys soon.